Hey, my name is Corey Anderson. I'm Cali Boy 17, and I know you don't care, but I can tell you why you should care. Oh, I don't know why you should care, but I'll just go ahead and show you in the background here. Um, obviously, my name is not Richardson Raymond. It's obviously not Corey Bryan. It's sure as hell not Mark Spencer. Williams Dawson. I don't even know who anyone whose first name is Williams, unless it was William. My name's not Mike Chandler. So you want to meet someone on the internet. You want to get to know them. My advice is you have to video call them. Go ahead. You know, you might be following them and you might think they're real because they have content on there. But if you start falling in love with them, you start liking them, you start forming a relationship, you have to immediately realize that they're probably baiting you for the last week or two or month or two to make you like their content, make you like everything that they're saying and they're saying everything that you should be should be hearing, right? Um, and they're like saying everything perfect and then they start asking for money. Why are you sending them money? Why? Well, you know, you're, you're, they, they have you trapped. They're, they're catfishing you. They're, they're saying everything again that you wanna hear. It's 2023. Content does not mean the person is real. Having a video call with them and seeing their face to see if they're the person in that video or in that content is gonna verify who they are, obviously. If you are sending someone money or falling in love with someone you have not video chatted, honestly, you gotta take a little bit of responsibility and I'm not trying to be mean or disrespectful, but it's kind of like on you to verify who they are. You gotta stop being so trusting, protect your peace, protect your boundaries, start saying, I want a video. Show me a video of you speaking, saying my name. Don't do the two fingers on the forehead stuff or have them send a picture because I have so many pictures out there. They're going to go ahead and dig through all my content for four plus years on Instagram and, and TikTok and give you something that you are wanting. I really don't have to go ahead and do this, but I feel like helping people, man. Like um, you may think that I'm just kind of like being mean about it or go, how can you still be being catfish at, at, in 2023? Really, I do care. But the only reason why catfishers and scammers still exist is because people are not putting up their boundaries and asking who that person is right away. You're trusting too much. So it's the people's problem, not the scammers problem, right? It's, a, it's the people's problem as much as the scammers. You're not doing your homework. We're not doing our homework to figure out if that person's real or not. Obviously, sometimes when you're video chatting with them, they can still scam you. I get it. I understand that. But at least video chatting with them will go ahead and verify they are who they are in those pictures in the content, right? If it's too good to be true and it doesn't sound like it should be happening and they should be talking to you, then it's not who they are. They're going to butter you up really quick. They're going to be very aggressive um, because, you know, they, they need money fast. Um, they might fall in love with you really quick in one day because they realize that, you know, they're pretty broke and they're struggling and they need to feed their family. So they're going to be, they're going to hit you with very aggressive stuff um, with the first day. Or some of them are going to be patient because they're actually making money. So it's going to take about a week. Some of them are going to be really, really patient because they're working multiple ones. They're, multi they're working like 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 women at one time. And yes, I know men also. Be careful what you put in your bio. Um, I suggest not putting that you're a widow, single mom of four. You're just getting people to come in and to go ahead and, and take advantage of you. Now, I know you have every right to put single mom of four. That's cool. But realize what you're inviting. You're inviting scammers and catfishers. You're not always inviting the nice guy. They're gonna target you people that are lonely, widowed, and have money and single based off your content and your bio and what you're saying in live streams because they do watch in live streams. Oh yes, they are watching in live streams. If you're ever in my live stream and you wonder why I have a couple hundred people in there or even like a hundred and only 20 people are talking, they're in there watching you. They will screenshot your account. They will go ahead and reach out to you later on and say, hey, this is Cali Boy. This is his fan page. Thank you for following me. I don't have a fan page. And some people are just really gullible to fall for it. Protect your peace. Turn the tables on them. Ask them for money. I'm gonna say this a million times. It is 2023. Hell, even last year you should have been doing it. And the year before that, and the year before that, the year before that. Everyone has phones with a video camera on it. And if your lucky dream lover, Prince Charming, does not have a video, um, a phone working with a video, what? Okay, well, I will talk to you when it starts working again. You cut them off. And when their phone starts working and their video starts working, you continue that conversation with them. If I, like, say, say for instance, 
when me and Jacqueline were talking and she says, I'm not gonna talk to you without your video working. And I go, man, my phone just broke. And she would have blocked me. I would have never been offended. They get very angry when you call them out. A, an angry, per, like a scammer and a catfisher will get very angry and start threatening you because you call them out on their video, not working. Like a normal person's phone that's not working or camera, they'll go, man, really, I just dropped it when I got in my car. Um, oh yeah, I can't wait to talk to you in like two days. I'll see you in two days. I'm gonna go get a new phone. I'm gonna go take it to a little camera place to get it fixed. That's a normal person would say. The scammers and catfishers are gonna come at you. This was way too long of a video. I'm gonna start kind of like talking dating tips and scammers and catfishers to hopefully help some of y'all out to see some of the red flags. Um, because, um, I mean, again, look at this. None of these accounts are mine, but I've known about them for years. This is not me. That is not me. That is not me. Weird fucking name, not me. Life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. Blech! I wouldn't say that bullshit anyways. That is not me. If you don't believe me, type in Boy 17 into your search bar and look how many of those accounts come up. I only have one backup account. Boy 17 underscore 17. It has 50,700 followers. All the other ones are fake. Those are not me. They're never going to go away. I could, I'm going to probably talk about this until I'm six feet under. Y'all got to be aware. You got to be vigilant. Look out. Look out for yourself. Be one step ahead. Think like a scammer. Think like someone that would catfish you. If you're out there dating and talking, you gotta be one step ahead and think like them because that they're gonna come at you with everything.